Uh, Sudeshji, would you like to reply to that, that it is too early for anybody, Amit Shah or anybody to actually, you know, claim that they are going to win. It does not necessarily have to happen that easily. Look what happened in Bengal, look what happened in Delhi. You see, when you talk of uh, Vishnu 2024 Lok Sabha elections, then talk to any analyst in this country, he would speak the same language, what Mr. Amit Shah has spoken. You talk to any BJP Karikarta today, he would tell you, he would tell you the same thing, that we are going to win hands down. It is not based on overconfidence or we are not talking in air. It is based on the groundwork which the BJP does. You know, the kind of Karikartas, the kind of dedication, you know, the kind of preparedness that goes. We always say that, you know, we are the people who are always ready to face examination. It is not just that we start preparing uh, for elections when the elections come. The preparation goes on to take people's policy to, uh, you know, uh, people uh, proper policies to people, tell them that what the government has done. It's a continuous process that goes on, isn't it? So that is why we are confident. And on the other hand, we see that the opposition does not exist even for the namesake. Mr. Rahul Gandhi uh, did a Bharat Jodo Yatra, but he didn't have even the rationality to speak uh, whether the Bhadar, Bharat was uh, broken down, that it had to be, you know, united. He himself said that everything is fine in this country. But then by the time he reached Kashmir, he had a different narrative. So here is the bear is confused about his own politics. The Congress doesn't know what it wants to do. So it's a distant dream for the Congress, at least for another decade, to think of replacing the BJP or Mr. Narendra Modi today.